Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what we're going to do on video is a 30 day experiment. I'm just going to explain what we're doing. 30 days from now we're going to pull some tape off to prove a point. My buddy David, he works for Echo Tape. Now he saw the video we did with vinyl tape and he says, Kirk, I got a much better tape than that stuff you're using. And I said, show me. So anyway, he sent me this case and he explained what it was. He says, Kirk, um, the Echo Red Tape, you're going to pay a lot more for it than the gray because of the red in here, ultraviolet rays, the sun can beat it up and it'll last a little bit longer. It sort of looks like a duct tape to me, but it's not. It tears real easy. You just grab it right between your fingers and put your fingers together. It tears real, really easy. Now, for guys like me, you homeowners, this probably won't apply to you, but we're going to do a scratch, we're going to do a brown coat, and then a color coat. It's going to take a solid month. And if this tape fails for whatever reason, that means when I pull this off and it leaves a vinyl residue, I got to come back and clean off that vinyl residue. And have I had that happen before? Absolutely. Here's the echo tape on this window, and on this window is the, the poly tape, or uh, I was called a vinyl tape, which we've been using, and I put more on the other side there. The idea is the sun will beat down on this and as the sun beats down on it say for usually it's 20 days in the hot sun it'll melt the adhesive and it's a real drag to get it off or if say a homeowner says hey Kirk we want to leave it because we haven't chosen color we need it because we don't want to uh, for whatever reason I've had reasons where our tape was on houses for 45 60 days and I've had to come back with my crew and spend hours and hours removing all that tape residue. So I generally, if somebody says, hey, Kirk, I want it on for longer, I say, you remove the tape, or we'll remove it, you repaint, uh, retape it because of this. Anyway, what, what David is saying with this uh, echo tape, you pay a couple bucks more, it'll stay on for 60 days. So because this is only for 30 days, and granted, we are at the end of February, we have March coming up, it's not that hot, but the homeowner here is going to hydrate these walls, and it gets cold at night. So as he hydrates the wall, this gets wet, the cold hits it, and when we pull it off three, 30 days from now, it could still leave a residue, but I'm curious to see about this. Now this, again, it kind of looks like a duct tape to me, the echo tape, but, but he says, Kirk, I guarantee it's 60-day uh, stuff, and in fact, Milgard tested it, and I thought, well, shit, if Milgard tested it, uh, that's good enough for me. Anyway... 30 days from now, we're going to come, we're going to pull this and see, and I got a couple on the other side just in case. So we'll pull it then and we'll see just how factual this uh, statement is. All right, guys, back to the same house. Jay just spread it. I floated it. We always take the tape off as soon as we float this. While this is still wet, I'm going to prove a point, guys. It's still wet. Anyway, uh, this is a float finish. They're going to paint it anyhow, so I can touch that up. All right, my buddy, Dave. Works for uh, Echo. He says, well, well, Kirk, Milgard already tested it. And when they sell their windows, there's a little piece of paper that says they recommend Echo Y for, they've done all the tests. Let's put it that way. Now, this particular tape is a cloth tape, UV cloth tape from Echo. I have no clue if this, what's going to happen here. But it's been about six weeks, and we're in the, uh, in the spring. So we'll see what happens. Anyway. Um, generally what I'll do is I'll pull it from the bottom and let's see what we got and notice I got a piece of cloth in my back pocket and I got a little handy dandy piece of um, plastic so sometimes if it's been on a long time I'll do that this is caulking okay that came off pretty good cool beans let's see this usually comes off pretty good too. And this is, um, we use this poly tape or vinyl. Uh, theirs is a cloth. Let's see. Oops. Dang it. Okay. Not a big deal. Let's see. Oops. Well, I guess maybe theirs is a wee bit better. Obviously, it must be a lot better. It's been a long time on here, so I won't mention this tape right here, but we get it at our, at our material yards. I guess, Dave, you're right. It's, uh, it's a better tape, echo tape, 
this is the I'm using the red Dave said when if you do it and it uh, comes out okay and you're happy with it tell people to start to love the gray and I said why he said the gray is cheaper I said why is that he said the dyes man so we did the red which uh, costs a little bit more but the gray is a little cheaper but now you can see why Milgard recommended them okay guys back again I had something I wanted to explain on the uh, echo tape but it was kind of complicated I wasn't certain that my followers would understand but I'm gonna give it my best shot because I had a circumstance which called for my assistance I had a fellow a JC who was in Livermore and he had a custom built house and he called me and says Kirk can you come check out why these walls are efflorescing and I said okay so we went out I looked at it, I said, that's not efflorescence. What that is, is it's just typical staining. Um, he says, well, we're going to paint the whole house anyway. And I said, well, uh, go ahead. He says, I thought you can't paint efflorescence. I said, you can't paint efflorescence. Efflorescence, number one, is just a salt that's in, say, sand. Where does sand come? It comes from the ocean. So there's a salt residue that's sometimes left in it. Salt is in the water sometimes. Salt is in the rain sometimes. So I said, it's not salt. Go ahead and paint with what you're doing. I'm going to give you an example of a couple uh, things that happened to me twice in the last two years. One of them was a $2,000 hit. Okay, I had the tape. And while we're on tape, guys, I don't want to get too sidetracked. Echo, echo tape. Say like you're in a mountain or a cave, a top of a cliff, and you scream and it echoes. That's echo tape. And no, I'm not trying to sell their product because that's not what I'm here. I usually tell good products that I use because people ask. I haven't used echo tape before except for this one video, but now I'm going to start using it. My, my shelves are going to be stocked with only echo tape because, granted, I sometimes have the tape on a house for three weeks up to five weeks, not intentionally. I don't want it on that long. Getting back to the Livermore job, I went there and I said, here's what happened. They hosed down the wall and it went through the plastic that they had on the windows and the fellow says so the tape failed I said no the tape didn't fail the tape they had was not echo it was a white tape it was a poly tape like this a vinyl tape and if you look inside the tapes they'll tell you what state what country it's from uh, we're not going to go there as far as what tape they use because that's not what this is about I have that same tape in my house but what they did is they had that tape on this house in Livermore we get days of uh, say 95 degrees to 100 now on one side of the house that baked the tape so the tape they had baked which mean it ruffled so when they hosed the, they hydrated the walls prior to the color coat it went through the tape and down inside the window and if you notice when I did this tape this video earlier I pulled my tape on the window the same day I even touched it to show you it's still tacky why although that wasn't a dark color I can still get blotchiness underneath so what they did was they left the tape that night and they did a dark color they used a lifestyle color how did I get beat up a couple times well I did a couple jobs and the folks could not choose a color I was going on 40 days on one job and I said man I need you to choose a color because my tape is going to wear out and I'm going to have to scrub all your windows down with the product and to make a long story short that tape was on close to 60 days and no it wasn't echo tape which they say you could have it on 60 days we spent an average of four days six guys scrubbing the frames because they didn't have the sheetrock on they didn't have this they couldn't even choose a color and when I tried to persuade them not to use a dark color they said well we want the dark color make a long story short we, we went with a dark color so that tape that they used in Livermore didn't fail it was just at the end of its life cycle on the other side of that job in Livermore where they had that black color it was a dark dark gray it was perfect and I said well this side gets no Sun so the moral of the story is guys for us contractors you plastering contractors if you're watching this all of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about if you're doing an addition or a whole house you have to let the scratch coat the brown coat cure for at least two to three weeks you're working on the house letting all these coats cure prior to the color by the time all the dust settles you got five weeks now unless you're going to use something like this you're going to be scraping film off of the window frames 
uh, adhesives you're going to scrape off or it's going to bleed down when you pull the tape. That's why I always pull my tape same day. Last thing, as I said earlier in this video, is this is a gray tape. It looks white, but it's gray. It costs a little bit less. Why go with a gray and pay eight bucks when you can go with a red where it costs anywhere between 10 and 12, where the red has an ultraviolet ray type of uh, color in it, the pigment avoids this, the harsh sun. So they got 60 days on this. They guarantee it. The grays, uh, they, don't, they don't last that long. The tape they had on this other house was a different color. And the red is the best, guys. So if you're going online looking for echo tape, just type in echo tape. I haven't even done it. I just happened to receive a box from my buddy David. Anyway, guys, it's a lot more complicated than that, but I don't want to throw too many issues at you. I have been beat up before with the tape failure. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We're about to get to work on another job here, but I thought I'd throw out this last bit of information on this echo tape. As usual, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk and Jay. We thank you for watching and from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.